People always say, uh, you never know how important an event is. Only time will tell after the fact. All it was that night was a home run in the 12th inning and the Red Sox sent a World Series to a seventh game. And it was a dramatic home run. That was it. They were singing and dancing in Boston at nearly one o'clock in the morning. But, um, so I was doing the World Series and I was the Red Sox announcer. There was the Reds announcer, Marty Brenneman, working with Kurt Gowdy, Tony Kubek, and Joe Garagiola from NBC. And I did game one on, on TV with uh, Kurt, and I did game four on radio with Kurt, and now it was game six. And uh, what happened was is that this was a game in which the Reds could clinch the World Series, and they wanted to have the NBC voice call the last out, which of course they would. Not, they didn't want to have a team guy. So they said, Dick, uh, you'll do the first four and a half innings, and Kurt will do the, uh, but it wasn't Kurt, it was Joe Garagiola. Kurt was on radio. We'll do the last four and a half, and Joe Garagiola is our top guy. So anyway, that's the way it worked. The game is 6-6, they go to extra innings. What are we gonna do now? Chet Simmons, the head of NBC Sports, they said, let's just alternate innings. So I did the 10th, Joe did the 11th, I did the 12th. Being at the right place at the right time, someone's looking over you. I was do doing the game when Fisk hit the second pitch in the bottom of the 12th inning to win the game and one, it was named by TV guy the most exciting baseball moment in, in history. So I'm calling this game and Fisk, the count is 1-0 to Fisk and he hits, a, he hits a shot. Now when you're doing play-by-play -play and you're doing baseball and there's a ball hit deep to center like last night if you watch the World Series and Gordon ties it up sends the game into extra inning, and there's a drive deep to center field, way back, it's gone, and it's time. That's one way. Then you have the ball that is a shot down the line in a nanosecond. What do you do then? Similar to what Joe Buck had when, when uh, Mark McGuire hit his 70th home run in St. Louis, right down the line. He hits a shot down the line, so it's instinct. You can't plan it. If it stays fair, First thing, if it stays fair, pause, home run. And then the place went nuts. And then I shut up. For 36 seconds, I did not say a word. As he crawled, went around the bases, fans coming out, grabbing at him. John Kiley, the organist at Fenway Park, hallelujah chorus, you hear the music, nothing. Place is going wild. Red Sox are at home plate, they mob Fisk. I said nothing, because what's better than pictures and sounds? Now, it's not that way today, folks, as you all know. It's wall-to-wall -wall talk, it's people screaming, and you're not listening to them. What are they saying? What's better on TV than the pictures and the sounds of an event, the director cutting pictures, the despondent Reds, the elated Red Sox, Fisk waving his arms, come home, mobbed at home plate. And all I said after that as he went into the dugout is that we will have a seventh game to this 1975 World Series, and that was it. And it was pure instinct. I know that Vince Scully, the great Dodger announcer, has done it as a matter of technique. I, I, I didn't know that, but he has done it. I didn't invent it. But that was what made that moment important, the 36 seconds after I said if it stays fair. You're still proud of that. Well, it's, you know, I was 32 years old at the time, John, and I said, you know, this is a great moment, I, and I don't know what my career is going to be, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have some great, nothing has surpassed that moment. It's not number one, number one, and always number one. And the two little, two funny things about that is every time I've seen Fisk, I said, Punch. Without my call, what, what would have happened? <laughs> and he looks at me. And then, of course, Johnny Bench. When I run into Johnny Bench, which I do all the time, he says to me, Dick, just remember who won that World Series. I said, Johnny, I think they called it off after six games, three and three. I don't think they played a seven game.